Alrighty, folks, welcome. This is SCS uh, number 345. Um, we're going to be getting started in just a minute. I'm on my own this time, stepping in last minute to help out. Just getting uh, lobby timer stuff going. Um, this is match number four between the Phobos and Rider uh, Coalition and Steel LL probably won't be talking a ton, but I'll give a little commentary here and there as I have time. We're getting a little bit of a lobby game developing here, not too much. We've got a Stormbreaker, a Crusader, a Judgment, and a Squid right now. We'll get in and see those builds um, when it makes sense. Once. Uh, once it's a little more locked down, we've got just about a minute left until lock, and we're going to be 1.30 remaining to 1 minute to lock. I'm just going to pre-type this one out, 1 minute 30 sec to lock. Um, team seemed pretty content so far, but... Uh, we'll see, still got a little bit of time left in our timer here. We got at least one ready up. And there's the 30 second call out. So Finks is with his uh, Watcher Gat Double Banshee Stormbreaker. Quite possibly Bees is, uh, Grup is running her Brawling Crusader. That's a Watcher Caro Double Flat Double Gat. Judgment is running a Lumber, an Art, and a Gat on front, and some back guns, and then it is an Artemis and Gat, Artemis and Gat Flak. So we have a lock coming in just now. So we're giving the captains the ready up command here. 15 seconds till we're getting started here, and a little bit of leeway just for them to get those uh, swaps in. This looks like it's a last minute sub. Sorry about that, we just had a last minute spectate join. I think that might have been uh, one of their primaries and they didn't have the time to um, spectate. So anyway, a uh, quick chip call out. So once again, the fallacy is the double Banshee Gat onto Stormbreaker piloted by Finks. Red number two is the quite possibly bees piloted by Portable Grump. It is a Watcha Caro double flak and double gat stormbreaker. Um, the six and one is uh, the judgment piloted by motion. Okay, that's actually an interesting switch for the judgment to be by motion instead of Mirwin on 
steel LL. Um, but it is a GAT art lumber with a Huacha GAT on the back. And finally, we've got a squid, uh, which is the very moth piloted by uh, Bearwin. It is a Artemis front GAT flak. And if we look at the map, we're probably going to get some spots coming out here in just a moment. Very close here with the fallacy and the fairy moth. They might actually get by here without seeing each other. Fallacy slipping by towards that uh, judgment. And there's Gat going out on fallacy. We got two spots there, quite possibly these and fairy moth not seeing each other yet through that dense cloud cover. Just seeing each other now, uh, choosing to ignore the quite possibly bees for now, getting a quick double team on the Stormbreaker, trying to flank the Judgment. Squid pushing them back a little bit. Judgment putting out some firepower on the quite possibly bees. Trading fire here, a lot of disables on the Judgment. J to j starting to be in a little trouble. Armor going down. Gat going out, Banshee going out. It's about half perma. Armor breaking. Quite armor break on the quite possibly bees down to about 30% perma. Judgment taking damage is going to be a DPS race for first kill. And red picks up the first kill here. Just about the two and a half minute mark, wasting no time getting engaged here. And now it's a 2v1 on the squid. Squid, squid gets a break on the stormbreaker. Stormbreaker takes Watcha. Points at the entrance of the Fairy Moth. Fairy Moth taking some perma now, two entrance down, all guns out. And this might be the end of them as well, and that is 2-0 in favor of Red, which is the Phobos and Rider Coalition. Checking out the map here, we've got a deep spawn in from the 6 and 1, which is the Judgment, which is probably the safest spot to spawn here. Um, the blue team spawns are kind of D2, F2, and back at that F5, but red team pushing forward, knowing that's the safe spawn, knowing that's where the blue team is going to have to make their stand. Blue team spawning in, still in formation for now, but starting a little bit of a split with the squid going out to get some spots. here. Fairy Moth going forward trying to get spots on the red team. Red team coming around that back passage. If they get a spot on the Judgment, they're going to be able to do some quick damage to them. Taking a quick look at some pilot tools. Grump is once again running that Drift Sail, which allows her Crusader to really get in quick and do some damage. Blue team has at least figured out where they are. They've got their ships pointed around, uh, pointing towards the red team, even if no spots are out yet. A lot of cloud cover on this map, a lot of options for ambushes. Fairy Moth just hanging out, lying in wait for anyone to engage the judgment and get jumped. But red team with the advantage, playing uh, conservative Healy here. There's the first spot going out. Fallacy coming in in a 2v1 until the course Crusader can manage to engage here. Quite possibly B is putting some Gatling out on the on the squid. Watcha goes out, doesn't pick up any engines, but probably has them pretty low. We can take a look in here. There are some moderately low engines, but still in decent health. And Terrible angle, sorry about that. Quite possibly B is taking some damage, but putting out some damage on the Judgment. Judgment forced to Hydro out of it. Break coming up, it looks like, on the 6 and 1. Maybe, maybe not. Quite possibly B is taking some damage. Quite possibly B is very close to break. But they get the kill on Judgment first, and that's probably going to send the Squid running away unless they can get a quick kill here. And 
the Squid definitely positioning itself for a little bit of a run out. It is the fastest ship on the field here with the um, Moonshine failsafe buff. But engine's looking a little rough here. Hiding in that little cavern down below. And they should be able to go north here and then swing around through that uh, northeast passage if need to be. Northwest passage? Northwest. Oh, turn back around. Sixty-one spawning pretty close here, allowing them to put in a little bit of ranged power with that Lumberjack, but I haven't seen a pop yet from that Lumberjack. Artemis going out from the Judgment. A little bit of a 2v1 here on the Fairy Moth. Fairy Moth trying to dip below Arcs. Still in Gat Arcs, probably below the Flak and Banshee Arcs for now. Judgment putting in some hurt from afar, but not picking up any pops yet. Big Hydro from the Squid coming in. Okay, that's a pop on the Bees. Bees is about to be double broken, quite possibly Bees double broken, taking some Perma, and that's going to be on the board for Blue, first kill. A little bit of a bump between the Squid and the Stormbreaker. And Squid seems to just be seeing how much, or Stormbreaker seems to be seeing how much damage they can put out before they die, which they do, in that inevitable 2v1, and Blue is able to escape this one with full perma. So we will await the red team spawn, red team of course spawning in the left side of this little S shape. Um, so we'll see how that works out here. So taking that uh, top left spawn, giving them plenty of room to organize and set up before they engage the enemy. Red still with that first kill advantage. Let's see what they're doing, they're laying down some buffs. Pilot running a buff here on the uh, Judgment, and a couple of buffs on there as well, got some chem spray, all kinds of good stuff. Alright, ship's getting a little closer, uh, should be getting some spots out, getting an engagement shortly. Fallacy leading the charge, that's the squid once again, or the Stormbreaker once again. For the red team, the squid leading, leading the charge for the blue team got to be just about over each other right now. They seem to not be able to see each other from that dense fog. Just see it now. Quadra goes out. Doesn't pick up any engines. One gun down on the ferry mom. Fairy Moth, the Gatling Fire trading back and forth from all ships. Quite possibly B is definitely in trouble here and just deleted by that back flak of the uh, squid. Stormbreaker going to try to pick up a quick kill here on the Judgment if possible. But they're potentially in a 1v2 here trying to back out. Squid the faster ship, but uh, Fallacy definitely can outpace that uh, Judgment and maybe pull a squid into a 1v2 with a risky spawn. We do get no spawn here, but we do have a kill. Sorry about that, I had the scoreboard up. Um, that was the squid just instantly being deleted there. And now it is a Stormbreaker versus a Judgment. 
And I have to say, I think I like this judgment there a little bit better. Or sorry, the Stormbreaker a little bit better just because of that maneuverability, at least against a judgment in a 1v1. And we are closer to red team spawn. Red team does get the spawn coming in now. How quickly can they get that Caro and um, Watcha and Gats and Flax on arcs? I don't know, but Squid burning in as well. This is possibly the last engagement. I mean, it's definitely the last engagement. If Red gets a kill here, Red pushing back the Judgment, and then maybe, yep, they are starting to turn their focus to the Fairy Moth. We got the Fairy Moth and the Fallacy going at it. And we have the quite possibly Bees trying to deal with the Judgment here. Quite possibly Bees trading. Fairy Moth broken, rising out of the action for now. Red team recognizing, putting some pressure on the judgment for now. But you do have to be careful about that back flack on that uh, squid that can instantly delete a ship. It just happened exactly as we said, and that is 4-4. Four, four. First kill advantage is with red, but I don't see this one going to time. Risky with the uh, engines exposed to the Artemis fire from the squid here. Squid trying to chase. Fallacy just trying to get a reset, get a clean, uh, clean kill here. Advantage is slightly to the red team here, but only slightly. That was a bump on that terrain, I think, trying to get around, get into cover. Trying to get behind. They're above the Artemis Arch for now, but they're going to have to come towards the Judgment in order to get back towards their ally. Ally has spawned. Pretty close to the action. They're low, but they, they can get in here and try to get some damage in. Watch it goes out on the Judgment, picks up nothing. Maybe a gun, and quite possibly bees. Now starting to engage, looking towards the squid. Watch going out on squid. This is next kill wins. Squid broken, but no follow-up available. trading, some Gatling fire trading, Fairy Moth broken, Fairy Moth takes the uh, dies, and that is going to be it, that is GG, um, which means we are going to have uh, Bobo's Rider Coalition moving on to the next match, and that means we are going to have Steel LL sticking with me. Very exciting one to start things off this afternoon. here for a moment while we get organized.
Hi, Johnny. So we had a tiny bit of confusion with some rest stuff because uh, I joined in to help last minute. If you guys can just jump on blue, we'll get that team in here as soon as possible. But make space for them, thank you. Ooh, with this. Sage Teller.
already tuning back in here. This is going to be match number eight coming in. I do have to actually post that time timer notice. Uh, match number eight coming in. This is going to be between Steel LL, who we had last match, and Fresh Void on Derelict Deception. Got just a little bit of time left in this lobby timer, and then we'll do a little bit of checking what we got going on. Thirty left. One minute to walk. Got a couple gun changes. Set that nice here take a quick look. We got a spire, lumber spire, watch of fish, stormbreaker, and a carol fish. Just a couple seconds left in this timer. Ships are now locked. And we're just gonna double check that nothing has changed. Looks like everything's the same. Pilots are just finalizing their loadouts. There's the 15 seconds till match start. seconds at the end there, but we are force started now. Derelict Deception is the map. The teams are Fresh Void on blue and Steel LL on red. Alright, we get our match timer started. Match timer is started and ship number one is the something or another chicken moth. It is a lumber spire with gat double banshee. Ship number two is the it's a baby boy. It's a huacha double caro with a flamer on back. Ship number three is the way. It is a gat double banshee storebreaker with a huacha on the side. And finally, ship number four is the calzone, which is a caro fish with. going out. Well, I can't talk about ship number four then. Ship number four is um, uh, it's a watch fish flamer inside, get mortar on the left that is piloted by Freddy. Our other pilots, which I don't think are mentioned, are Mirmin in the Spike Ire, Moshen in the Goldfish, um, and Freddy and Zeno for the blue team. One minute left in pause. 
this. to the teams for being a little late on the pause call and big thank you to Steel LL for respecting it before the uh, ref call was made. A lot of things to do at the start of a match just with uh, running things all on myself. Weirdness going on, but matches resumed. We got it's a baby boy rushing in. Way to take a little bit of bump there on terrain. Weird hitbox, don't think I've seen that one before. Spots coming out, we got a pop going out on the it's a baby boy, that's the watch fish. forces them back just a little bit. Checking in. We do have all the players back in. That's good to see. Good use for a pause there. Turning some fire from long range. I think the long range advantage in this match goes to Steel LL with that lumber, but not a ton of um, long range options on either team here. Lumber going out on the fish. Doesn't quite pick up the pop yet. See what they got. They got greased on their banshees. Watcher goes in to the fish. And the way coming in here, putting some banshee fire on the chicken moth. Baby boy coming back, trying to protect with a flamer a little bit, lighting some things on fire in the way. It's a lot of fire stacks on the way. A little bit of a back ram takes out the balloon. Calzone broken. Double broken with the balloon out as well. Flamer going out into the way, Chicken Moth popped and bouncing. Um, might get a kill here on the blue team. Zooming in there a little bit. Should have gone in for the ram, I think. Um, both blue team ships doubling up on the Chicken Moth for the time being. The way being pushed back. Trading fire with that flamethrower, and that's going to be for skill red. And probably not long for this world here. They had a good run on that spire for a while, had it bouncing, took out a little bit of perma, but couldn't quite finish the deal. Oftentimes, if you have a ship on the ground like that, you can uh, really grind them in with a ram or something. Um, that can seal the deal, but not always possible, depending on what your own health situation is. So it's 2-0 in favor of red. Blue team should be spawning just a little bit, uh, probably either in A1 or D1 uh, in the pipe, depending on how frisky they're feeling. Red team attempting to cover the spawn points here. Spawn points are like A1, B2, C3, and 
D1, something like that. So they could get super spicy, but they're not going to. That is definitely the safe call. Spawning in there, give them a second to get to the helm, get organized. into the red spawn. I like this a lot. That gives them a little bit more separation. Um, forces the red team to come to them. Somehow spotted through that crack in the pipe. starts to go out. No hits yet. Okay, Lumber finally connects into the balloon of the Calzone. Calzone is popped the way, going speedy with that drift sail. Lumber continues to punish the fish. Uh, Triple L running an interesting Lumber Spire with the Lumber as their long range option and then the Gap Double Banshee kind of protects and keeps ships from closing in too close because even inside of our own time on the Lumber, uh, that Gap Double Banshee is dangerous in its own right. Long range Watcher going out from the way. So Baby Boy is focusing on Protecting their ally here, keeping that Stormbreaker out of effective range. Chicken Moth continuing to grind down the Calzone with the Lumber, now pushing in to use their Gat Double Banshee to seal the deal. And they are at about 20% perma. Balloon still broken, armor comes back up. One more cycle, and that should be 3-0 in favor of Red. But they clutch the armor. Well done by the engineers on the Calzone there, uh, getting that armor back up, tanking it out, trying to get out of there, get out of harm's way. The way it does get a little bit of a watch out on the it's baby boy. here while we get organized. Steel LL should be with us for, I think, one more match, and then we're going to have Saldurum taking over this lobby. So stick around and 
we will have more coming at you soon.
Hey, what uh, what, what side are we on? Pretty sure on red, steel out on blue. I think Merwin might be AFK. Nah. Alright, hang on, I let everyone talking. Can I Moen! Moen! Swap with Moen! Moen! Okay, that's cute. Uh, map, 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 map. Moen! Get the fucking hell off the spot! Swap with that Would guy, you please! Shut up? Ah, sweet. Okay, thanks. Already tuning back in here. Got just about a minute left until lock. We are on water hazard um, with British hemorrhage on red and steel LL for the third time on blue. And it's just about 30 seconds left to lock here. And there is the 30 second call now. Quick look at what we've got. We got a Garo, we've got a Spire, we've got a Spire, and a Goldfish. And this is gonna be a lock in just a moment.
a ship's lot. started. Start timer started. I'm really bad frame rate for some reason, probably because I am recording games. So they're going to waste no time in getting in here. Um, ship number one is the Beethoven's Groupies. It is a Gat Caro with a flamer and a flak on the side. Ship number two, piloted by Fishy's Me, is a Minnow Spire with a flak, Artemis Gatling. We're going to capture the first engagement. And then we'll get to the blue ships. Uh, blue number four coming in is a Huachifish piloted by Motion. I believe it is Caro Caro on the side with a Flamer on four. And then the final ship is the Chicken Moth, which I believe is a Lumber Spire with Gat, Flak, Mine Launcher, piloted by Merwin. So ship's jockeying for position as usual. For some reason my frame rate is tanking, but that's okay. I'll make do. Got some pops coming out of the spire. Uh, Minnow spire trickling a little bit with the lumber spire, it seems. It doesn't have the arc, arc to use its artemis right now because of that balloon pop coming in on them. Beethoven's group is going all in on the fish. This is a build that Ortegon has been trying a lot recently as a counter fish build. Um, and he flies it well. Uh, going into the It's a Baby Boy. Gets a break. Danger for a butterfly, and that is first kill. So now a little bit of a 2v1 as the B2 into groupies tries to make something happen here. Trying to pull it out. They are popped, they are broken. Flat come out and miss. Flat come out and hit. Flat come out and kill. And it's 2 0 in favor of blue. Terrible frame rate I'm getting right now. Try to close a couple things on my computer, see if we can bring this up a little bit at least.
So, uh, ships have spun each other. Quick pause there for some reason. Managed to get my frame rate up to double digits at least. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time while playing. Love to see that. Apologies for the frame rate on my computer. Um, I was getting good frames earlier, but maybe it's water hazard, maybe it's the fact that the stream's been running for an hour or the recording, but a little low frame rate right now. So we're going to group these and uh, Beethoven's groupies, sorry, and the butterfly in the sky are flying in formation here. Chicken moth starting to engage the Pura. Pura says, I don't care, I'm going for the fish, and letting their spire take care of the chicken moth. Chicken moth taking a little bit of a beating here. This looks pretty good for blue. They're getting the one on one engagements they want. And I think the no, lumber is not out. Um, fish coming in, getting around the, the pyramid in there. both on the spire and the fish there. Not a lot of follow-up on either one. What is on this? Ah, it's a gat banshee on the side. Butterfly in the sky also broke in, taking a little bit of flack here from the chicken muff. It's a baby boy pushed back a little bit by the pyramidian, but still trying to engage that spire pretty heavily. The TV one on the spire is taking its toll. Should be it on the spire, and that's 3 0 in flavor of Steel LL. And Flax lining up for the kill shot here. It looks like Lumber takes down the balloon, and there go the Flax. Extended clip Flax. Interesting. Uh, bouncing on the ground, Beethoven's group is taking a little bit of damage. Sitting in that black cloud, and that's going to be it. 4 0 in favor of Steel LL. Oh, that's Tar. Someone has Tar. Who has Tar? It's not Mirren. It's not Moshen. I'm betting it's uh, Ortegon has a gunner or an engineer with tar. He likes running that a lot. Alrighty, Beethoven's groupies indeed has tar on one of their engineers. So Red Team will see if they can do something here. Um, they've had decent control on the fish, but haven't been able to quite get the kill there. I think the Lumber Spire has just been beating the Minnow Spire. Minnow Spire hasn't been able to get the disables they want on the Lumber before they get too low to utilize their Artemis. So take high engage trying to get that Artemis going in now. Well, minnow hits, but did not get what they need in the way of uh, disables on the initial engage. It's a baby boy being engaged by Beethoven's groupies. Utilizing that back gat. Side gat, helping out their ally with the 2v1 long range, short range on Butterfly in the Sky. Butterfly in the Sky, bouncing on the ground, lumber. Flak, Gat, Ram, and still tanking, but that's going to be it.
to stop the stream and restart. If I have to, we might be switching over to alpha. But I'm going to stop this and see if I can get my frame rate back up.